Hello, Susan. Hey, Drew. Hi, my name is Drew. This is Susan. Hello. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Right Now. We're going to talk about how the Beatles are an overrated band, right? Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. Uh, I work with Susan a lot. Um, we're going to talk about the pilot parallels today. So these are some super fun pens. Yes, we're ready are. for that one. Yes, I was not expecting that. These are some super fun pens that I don't think get spoken about they enough. They don't. They don't. And they're really cool. They're so much fun. So we're going to speak about them today. Do that. So Pilot makes these things, and they are pr a pretty big deviation from, I think, Pilot's normal offerings. Oh, boy. So 10 bucks a piece, very different than what you see in the Metro and in other, the, you know, the lower price point Pilot line. And they're fountain pens, but they're not uh, the nibs. They don't have nibs. They have two parallel plates. Thus the name. Thus the name that yeah. that are stuck together, and it does have a feed, but the ink also travels not between tines, but between these two parallel plates. So that makes them very interesting and very very unique. And the sizes they come in are very unpilot like, absolutely un Japanese pen like. This big boy is the 6.0, and they gradually go down from here. Mm -hmm. The green one being a 3.8, so a uh, slightly smaller. I, I guess this is a nib. Yeah, it's not. It's not not a nib. So slightly smaller. Pen, so. And then you've got a red and an orange. I've one. got a red. The orange is 2.4, so this is 2.4. Mm-hmm. And this is 1.5, which is a size a lot of you are probably used to. Right. And if you wanted to write using the 1.5, you could probably do that. Oh, sure, I have. And maybe with the 2.4, once you get into these, mm -hmm. you're out of writing territory and into lettering territory. Yes. And I'm not a letterer by any means, but it's something that I always see on Instagram. I love it when I see it. I wish I could do it. And if you're like me, this is a great way to, you know, get that started. We sell each of these 10 bucks a pop, just like I mentioned. And then you've got this cool hand lettering set um, called the Pilot Enso set. The Enso sets also come with, uh, if you wanted to, you could get them with um, uh, Prera, not Prera, say. Uh, uh, Plumix? Plumix, yeah. They have various ones. This one's the hand lettering one. So it comes with the full set of Pilot Parallels. And then some other goodies too. Like uh, it comes with a full set of the Pilot Parallel mixable cartridges, the black cartridges, a little Thing for cleaning the uh, parallel plates and underneath a little funky uh, cleaning tool. It's kind of like a bulb syringe. Mm -hmm. So that's neat. I actually didn't know about that guy until I opened it. I didn't I, either. I, was I knew it was it. in here, but, kind of it. but I didn't know what it looked like. Because the old one came with a, like a, a cleaning syringe, kind yes. of like the Con B. Uh -huh. And it also comes with this, which we're going to be looking at right now. And this is a bit of a, uh, it's a instructional guidebook. Uh -huh. So a pamphlet, if you will. Yes. Pamphlet. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it walks you through how to do some of this lettering. I have to tell you, I wish I'd known about these when my daughters were younger and I was doing party invitations for their birthday parties. That's when I wish I'd known about these too for all you moms out there. Uh, yeah, invitations, mm -hmm. uh, holiday cards, yes. or just to uh, practice and Instagram your progress. Which of these do you think would be easier? The kind of uh, the gothic style or the, like this... Uh, more, what would you call that? Well, Andy, Andy, what is that? You, you know style stuff, right? Yeah. Retro. <laughs> this would be easier, but our friends out there would get a heck of a chuckle out of watching right. us try do to you, do this do one. Do you want to try to do an S and I'll try to do a D? Oh, yes. sure, thanks. All right. Here, which one do you want? You want the green or the blue? I want the green one. <laughs> okay. See, another thing about the parallels that I will say, while they are super fun to use, oh, they don't post. That wasn't what I was going to say. Um, you can also eyedrop them. Um, if you do not have your nib 110% flat on the page, you're going to get some funky stuff happening. So like that, well, actually, I need to be right. Can down. I do C for my last name? Sure. <laughs> no, I'm not going to think out. Um, Let's see here. So if you don't have it straight, you get one of those happening. And it's just a matter of keeping it 100% flat and you get a nice solid line. Like the slightest bit of rotation makes that happen. And this is just so ugly, it's like, you know, some sort of clawing effect. Um, but if you keep it nice and straight, you get beautiful, oh, see, there you go. You get beautiful 
big, big lines. Oh my God, that's so lovely. And this is uh, all of uh, the ink in here that we're using are the Pilot um, multicolor cartridges that come with the set. So I have a blue in the blue, green in the green, orange in the orange, etc. So, how's it coming, Susan? Whoa, that is not bad. Really, you think? For a first try? All right, for a first yeah, try. look at that. That's the, that could be worse. Oh boy. That could be worse. <laughs> You're not kidding. That's not so bad. And this is the first time you did this? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Susan, no, I, that I is just, not I bad just, at all. I just did some lines. That is not um, bad at all. It. Oh, let me hear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna butcher this right here. Oh no, you're Let's not. Let's see, hold you're on. You're gonna be great. Uh, see, Susan's a stub writer, so she's used see, to See, I have to turn. Well, yeah, I'm a stub writer, so. Mm, and I stop. There's a little, a little angle chunk there. And then a little. I just had a thought. Scoopy doo. A sco Yo, you're good and at then, Scoopy doos. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making it happen. And then sherbety bop. <laughs> bop boom. And got some lines happening. Oh, got a little <gasps> swirly. Oh, you're putting doo. me to shame. Hold on. Oh, come on. Well, mine's a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm not. You, you try to do yours a lot smaller. I am not even gonna attempt that. And then a little shmermap and a bop 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 and D. Huh? But you know what just occurred to me for these pens? I'm thinking Hebrew lettering. Sure. Yes, this is what's coming to mind for me. Hebrew lettering. Um, we have an older video that Rachel did way back when. It's one of one of our older videos. Uh, it was one of the few that Rachel did all by herself. If you want to check that one out, she shows how to use the really unique. Um, what do you call it? Like that. The mixy thing that they do. The ombre effect. Yeah. Is so, that, yeah, when you put the two points so together with different colors. You basically just touch them, boop, for a while, and Don't then. Don't they have to be? Yeah, so you just hold them together like that for a while. You let one take in the other, and then you've got a blue with some green in it that you'll run out of the green, and it'll start to go blue, or vice versa. Um, so it's super fun. She'll show you how to do that. I it, had my hair like that once. <laughs> you've had your hair a lot of, uh, you've had your hair a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. How many how many uh, employee pictures have you taken? Oh, so many, <laughs> so many. Paul, my husband doesn't remember the original. I I'm I'm keeping the one because I'm not going to have any more hair than I had in that one. <laughs> so I'm keeping so that one. It looks great. I know. <laughs> the same way with my driver's license. I'm like, nope, you're staying there as long as you can because right now I've got this stuff going. Anyway, um, another cool resource for you is Gourmet Pens. Aziza, she has a great blog and a great set of videos. She loves Pilot Parallels and she can do some really amazing things with them. She's got great walkthroughs, and I think that she does some local uh, local walkthrough events too at uh, pen shows up in Canada. So um, give her a look, see if you want to. Again, ten bucks for one of these. Have yeah. some fun. Check it out. It's just a great way to play around with some lettering, and then like Susan just showed you here, if you get a one point five, yeah. you can kind of use it in a more traditional mm -hmm. way that works out. So that's pretty much it. That's it. You have anything um, else? I, I I love these. They're really great. You can do so much with them. Um, Kids enjoy them. And this, again, this just occurred to me for Hebrew lettering. And I've had some phone calls about that, yeah. too. That's a great one. Awesome. Yeah. Well, check them out. Let us know what you think. We're always here for you. Give us some suggestions on things to talk about. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Yep. And right on. Call us if you need us. Right on. Bye-bye.